many of us walk around with a certain you know, phrase we might repeat. Maybe it's the, the Jesus prayer. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, a, a sinner. You know, maybe it's just simply, um, oh God, help me. Or Lord Jesus, help me. Or Mary, intercede for me. The voice that spoke to St. Alphonsus that changed his life, the voice of the Lord that just simply said, leave the world and give yourself to me. It was a transforming moment for him. A dear friend of mine I was visiting, he shared with me that in his own prayer, the, what he heard, a prayer that he wrote down was, Lord, Lord, pour your most precious blood over me and help me go about this day being of value to others. You know, when we think about these phrases, when we think about scripture, we think about all the Lord has given us to, to teach us and to lead us and to guide us to, towards salvation. You know, he's calling us to, to not only be faithful, but be persistent, if you will. You know, Jeremiah, persistent in the message. You know, he never wavered from the message. But when we do waver, maybe pride gets in the way, like with Herod, or, or maybe our own worth gets in the way. You know, my, I have a little nephew, great nephew, Chunk, and uh, my niece, her, his mom, uh, had a little party. It was her birthday, and so we went to, uh, went to the house, and there was just a few of us there, and, and her brother, my, my other nephew, bought a pinata for, for all of us to hit a pinata, a 56-year-old batting at a pinata is another story. But um, what was interesting, though, is after the pinata broke and the candy came out, you know, Chunk, who's um, eight or, or nine now, he was trying to get the rope and the pinata out of the tree. And it was a rather tall tree, and my nephew had thrown a rope, and, you know, the rope got stuck. It got tangled. And he was pulling on it, pulling on it. He was trying to figure it out. And, and right away, um, you know, somebody wanted to get up. And, and my niece said, no, let, let him figure it out. Let him just figure it out. And so he pulled the rope one way. He pulled the rope another way. And, and finally, he, he figured out if he loosened the rope a little bit. If he sort of, you know, gave it a yank, he gave, gave it sort of a loop, it would loosen on the branch. And slowly, the the remains of the pinata and, and whatever else was there came up over the branch and, and came down and, and Chunk was successful. Thinking about that in my, my prayer life, in my prayer this morning, just in the sense of how often my own pride or how often my own wants or desires get in the way, really, from sharing the love that washes over me every time I celebrate Mass or every time I go to confession or any time I celebrate any of the sacraments with the people of God. Maybe that's something you could think about. Maybe that's something all of us need to think about. Like what snags our faith rope, if you will? You know, what, what is it that we get caught up on? You know, we can see what happened. Herod you know, he's hearing this preaching and he's probably, at least in my own understanding, is, is understanding it, but yet his pride won't allow him to be different. Brothers and sisters, we're called to be different. We're called to really leave the world and give ourselves to Jesus. We're called to let the blood of Jesus, the precious blood, wash over us and help us to go about this day and every day being of value to others. How can we do that even more? By reflecting on those things that get us caught up and just ask Jesus to take them away. You know, the evil one does want us to be caught up, be in, in caught in a snare, if you will. We need not give in to him, but give over everything to Jesus. Because when we do that, truly, his precious blood is washing over us and strengthening us. When we do that, we are leaving the world and seeing the cross before us and living through the cross 
to the glory of heaven. Amen.